Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy III. Today, there's one more place I want to go before heading over to the Tower of Owen. So, let's walk around here. Or, well, sail around there. Now, that's the Tower of Owen there, and there's a little whirlpool to the right you can see there. We can't get through that yet. So, for now, let's uh, go over here to the west. Yeah, this looks like a good place to park. Good choice. Now there's a Chocobo forest in, well, the forest to the northwest, but I don't want to go there right now. Hmm, what's that in the lake down there? Well, it's surrounded by mountains, so we can't get to it yet. And here we are at the Gurgan Valley, the people who made the prophecy at the beginning of the game, or before the game even started, really. Kind of like the Circle of Sages, apparently. Okay, so we have to get power from all the crystals of elements. Okay, sounds like a plan. And the earth crystal sealed the other power of the other three crystals. Hmm, why would it do that? Fires in the land of the dwarves. Hmm. Well, I'd like to know what the stock market is, but that's just me. But then again, I probably would be sad if I knew what the stock market was going to do. <laughs> and... Impossible to see. The future is. Yeah. Okay, Yoda. Living Forest is calling us. Oh yeah, I can go there too, can't I? Hmm. There's a dark forest coming. We'll have to watch out for that. Yeah, there's a living forest that I can go to, but it's not really pertinent to the plot right now, so I'm not even going to bother going there. And use this to enter the Tower of Owen, and Desh has destiny awaiting him. Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. Let's see what he has to say. Go to the Tower of Owen. Okay, well, we've got the Toad spell, which... Ironically, is a white magic spell in this game, so that fills out our uh, all of our white magic level sp slots for now. Um, so now I'm actually going to do the level grinding that I said I was going to do in the last video, get up to level 13, and then I will meet you outside of the Tower of Owen. Okay, I've finished all the level grinding, and as you can see, I'm up to level 13 there, and I did it in the northwest part of the outer continent there on the uh, well the outer rim of the, the floating continent that is um, partially because that's where the enemies are but also because it's relatively close to the ancients village which would be the easiest place to um, uh, rest up at the end when you run out of spell charges there so it takes about half an hour maybe less um, you know I didn't use the fast forwarding feature when I created that or when I timed myself for that so um, so there you go. I mean, it could take less time if you have a fast-forward feature on your emulator. So, now let's enter the Tower of Owen. And there are frogs here. Why are there frogs here? Oh, thank you very much for riveting. And here's a new enemy, Pigman. Nothing, uh, too challenging about those guys, although they will cast, um, uh, elemental spells on you there. Oh yeah, they can blind you with their, um, with a spell. Uh, blind, obviously. <laughs> so, yeah, that ought to do. Good job. You suck. Okay, let's move along. And just make sure you practice your spells every round. Be good for their skill levels. Got them. Yeah, they're not too hard. Let's see what this is. We can't dive in there. Only a frog can make it. Great. Well, this is what we need the toad spell for, so let's do it. Alright. Now we are in the Tower of Owen, finally. So let's untoad. We don't need to stay toaded forever, thank God. Oops, I accidentally switched my lead character. Let's see what he has to say. 
Oh, yeah, he says the same thing. It will be your grave! Hmm. Yeah, despite being weaker, these guys give more experience, but I didn't want to level grind here because of the status ailments and everything. It's pretty straightforward. And here's another enemy, Putty Mage! Yay! These guys can uh, mute you with uh, the mute spell. So uh, that's why I got the Echo Herbs earlier while I was at the Ancient's Village there. Whew, got lucky there. And another thing, as long as we're talking about the mute spell, do any of you guys like the mute spell for your white mage? Because um, after this area, I'm going to have access to the town that sells that spell. And I'd be interested to hear what you have to say about it, because I've never used it in previous run-throughs. But, you know, now that I think about it, maybe it might be useful. I don't know. It's hard for me to take magic defense into account, because I don't have that stat in my bestiary here, so... Yeah, if you guys have any knowledge on that, you know, let me know. Yay! Yeah, we got pretty lucky not getting muted there. And we get a Maiden's Kiss. Let's go up here then. There's quite a few floors to this tower, but it's not too long, really, because they're so short, each floor. So, that's awfully nice of the designers. And you want to save your, uh... Level 3 spell charges for the boss, obviously, in, in any dungeon, really, so. Hmm, kind of reminds me of, uh, uh, that guy in Final Fantasy IV, Scamiglion. And Desh is an ancient. Huh. So laughing cures amnesia. All right. And we get a Tearbing Sword, which would be useful if I had a Red Mage, but I don't. Too bad. go up here. Hmm. Hmm. It's a dead end. Whatever shall we do? There's a switch on the fifth floor. Eight steps from the right. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's eight. What the? Oh, eight steps from the left. Sorry. So, yeah, I miscounted, but I got it right after all. Ha ha! And we get another Maiden's Kiss. Great. There's all these metal gears in these, this tower here. I wonder what it's for. By the way, since I got that bomb shard in the last chest, you should hold on to all those battle items, because we're going to need them for a boss fight later on in the game. Not too far, but... You know, as long as we're here. On the floating continent, that is. Yeah, we're almost at the useful treasure chest. Not yet. And we get yet another echo or well, that's useful to have extras. You anything new to say? Nope. Oh well. Yeah, that's all Desh has to say right now. Finally, good treasure. And we get the Salamand Sword, which is fire elemental. We want to give that to the fighter there. And it's also just flat out stronger than the Serpent Sword. But I want to hold on to the Serpent Sword for later, so. And the Flame Mail. This is why I did not purchase that at the um, the ancient village where I could have purchased it, so it helps protect against ice elemental attacks. And we get a Zeus Rage. And here we are. There's a person guarding the furnace at the Tower of Owen. Why is she here? And what is Desh's purpose? What is his destiny? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 3! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.